For years, bubbles have amused us. These little pockets of air rise in solutions like water when they possess a density lower than the solution. But a hidden property of these air bubbles is often forgotten and could be used to facilitate nuclear fusion and end the era of fossil fuels. This hidden property is known as sonoluminescence. The literal meaning of the word sonoluminescence is sound into light. It is a phenomenon that occurs when bubbles trapped in a liquid grow and then contract at incredibly high speeds when blasted with acoustic sound waves. The acceleration of the compressions that the bubble undergoes results in a release of small bursts of incredibly hot light, and thus light is created from sound. Sonoluminescence was first discovered by H. Frenzel and H. Schultz, two scientists working at the University of Cologne in the year 1934. While conducting research on marine sonar, they noticed clouds of bubbles that flashed unpredictably and quite mysteriously. The phenomenon they witnessed was known as multi-bubble sonoluminescence, as opposed to single-bubble sonoluminescence discovered in 1988. To achieve single-bubble sonoluminescence, a container of water must have a piezo microphone that can detect the frequency of the container's resonance, so an ultrasonic horn can emit the correct amount of acoustic energy into the container. A control box with an amplifier for modifying the energy emission should connect the microphone and the horn to the transducers of the container. Finally, the water to be placed in the container should have a considerably lower amount of dissolved air than the average water solution. This air can be removed by boiling the water or sealing the container after evacuating all air from the water. The action of withdrawing water using a pipette and then dropping the contents back into the container then creates a single bubble. For this bubble to undergo sonoluminescence, the sound level must be in the correct threshold. At a low sound level, the bubble will be trapped, and as the level rises, the bubble will begin to jitter and move sporadically. Raising it further will dramatically decrease the radius of the bubble's movement so then it appears fuzzy and the bubble will grow larger. Slight increases of the sound level will put the bubble in a small and stable state, but too large of an increase will result in the bubble dissolving instantly. For sonoluminescence to occur, the sound level must be in the threshold between these two states. Once the bubble is in the correct state, it will start expanding. When it has reached its maximum size, the bubble collapses at an acceleration theoretically predicted to be larger than that of a black hole collapse. At the bubble's minimum radius, 500,000 photons of light are emitted in a flash of light that can be seen for shorter than 50 picoseconds, or 50 millionths of a millionth of a second. During this period, the interior of the bubble is as twice as hot as the surface of the sun. Then, the bubble size rapidly fluctuates up and down until it reaches the small and stable state that it once started with. As these cycles occur incredibly fast under the correct circumstances, 40,000 flashes of light can be generated per second, which gives the bubble an appearance of a tiny, unblinking light and can be seen with the naked eye, despite the bubble itself being microscopic. More importantly, sonoluminescence can be used in sonofusion, which is the use of a collapsing bubble's power to achieve uncommon states of matter, or simply put, nuclear fusion in sonoluminescing bubbles. However, it still stands that the temperature is not hot enough for nuclear fusion to occur on a big enough scale. But as scientists from colleges and universities the world renowned study sonoluminescence to this day, breakthroughs are bound to happen and nuclear fusion may soon be achieved through sonofusion. With the accessibility and ease of researching sonoluminescence, it is fair to say that there are plenty of open doors for discovery.